So here's our official welcome um, to tonight's event. My name is Pam Callery. I'm the president of the EVA Club of Charlottesville. And I'm joined tonight um, with my two social chairs who are on the board with me, Barbara Bosick and Melody Hagsfield, along with our regional engagement officer, Robin Stafford. Um, we've had a fantastic turnout tonight, so um, thank you so much for joining us. I think it's gonna be just a lot of fun. Very briefly, the UVA Club of Charlottesville, like all UVA clubs nationwide and international are open. So they are um, welcoming our alumni, parents, friends, and fans. Um, we offer a variety of programming, but since um, COVID, we've done most of our programming, or all of it, online, virtual. So we've tried to present a variety um, of programs with a range of interests. Um, and one of the, one of the uh, programs that are most successful for us are those that bring together our community business owners, um, to highlight that they are still in the community, doing their thing, working hard. And so, um, you know, Yvonne is just, has just been there and we all know her and love her and um, thought it would be so fun uh, for her to show us her expertise in the comfort of her home. Um, and so having said that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off um, just from speaking and let Yvonne take over. Good evening. Welcome to my home and welcome into my kitchen. Hope you have a little cocktail or a sip of something while you're enjoying this evening. So tonight we're, what we're gonna make is a, a zucchini, known as zucchini um, appetizer and um, just going to do a little demonstration for you here. A little nervous. As you're um, working, Yvonne, too, if you want to just tell us kind of how you um, came to be interested in cooking and your experience with the original Nona, et cetera, in Italy? Uh, yes, my, uh, we lived there for, uh, for seven years uh, while my husband was uh, stationed there in the Navy. And uh, sorry, I'm just really nervous. <laughs> I'm just trying to oh. get my group here, um, trying to talk and do this at the same time. It's just new for me. Um, you got this, Yvonne. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Annette. You got this. So I'm just going to kind of do my cooking thing, and then as I'll, go, I'll go on and talk about my story a little bit. Um, but right now what we're doing is I'm just uh, slicing the zucchini, and if you don't have a mandolin, you can use a just thin, thinly sliced your zucchini. So that's what we do here. And the next step is, is kind of my special step to get the water out of, uh, out of the zucchini because they are so, they have a lot of water in them, a lot of water content and squash. So I'm just gonna go over to the stove. Throw these into a dry skillet, a dry hot skillet, which I didn't have the oven, but that's the burner preheated. But uh, cook those until they look like this. So they throw them in like that in a dry skillet. And when they're finished, this is what they'll look like when you're done. And you pull them out. There's no oil. There's nothing at all in the skillet. So we'll bring these over. Bring these over and uh, roll these guys up with some, uh, I have some uh, borson, some basil and uh, chive borson that we're gonna roll up inside in, in the middle of these. Yvonne, can you uh, 
answer a question about the zucchini and the skillet? Yes. So that's like an awesome tip. Um, approximately in a dry skillet, how long do we put it in there? Uh, and so do we have to flip it? Uh, you just keep watching it and you want it, like I said, the, the skillet to be real, real hot. Um, okay. The skillet is come, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you here in a minute as is, my skillet is coming up to temperature. Okay. Um, I just had these pre-done so that I could show you how to uh, just do this a little bit faster, but this has kind of come up to the, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So it would be probably okay. maybe five minutes. Okay. Maybe five Thank minutes. Just really watch the, uh, watch it, watch it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're doing great. Thank you. Um, so now we're just going to drizzle some of uh, Nona's, Nona's sauce here on the bottom of the uh, pan. Can everyone see okay? Did you heat the sauce or is it straight from the jar or? I poured it straight from the jar just right into the pan to just get that nice consistency so I can get a nice layer on the bottom of the, of the baking pan there. And then I, you roll up, you put the, your cheese, whatever cheese that you choose there inside, roll it up and then you put your, uh, put it right on top you, of the sauce. Can you, can you put down your camera so we can see it? Sure, sure. How is that? Perfect. Yeah, thank you. I have my nonas here. I'm making it too. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I appreciate your support. And you just line them up. In, the, in your pan, just like that. Just fill it out however, you know, however much you wanna, you're gonna do. And I have a, something else I'm gonna show you when we're all finished. I'm gonna sprinkle, whoops, forgot a step. We'll put a little drizzle of Nona's on top here. And then some little bit of Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano. One of my very favorite cheeses. You could also change this up and put mozzarella on it if you wanted to. Um, and you could, uh, another cheese that you could also, you could put any various kind of cheese inside of, uh, of these little roll-ups also. You could do a cream cheese, you could do a goat cheese, um, speaking of goat cheese, there's a couple of local good goat cheeses here in Charlottesville, uh, caramel and uh, clover top. And the ones that I made for my husband tonight actually are, I used uh, clover tops, herb cream cheese, or herb cheese in there. So just for something different. Or there's uh, also vegan cream cheese, vegan cheeses that you could also uh, replace it with to make this 100% vegan recipe and vegan Parmesan to change things up. But this is just a quick, uh, you could, uh, when I made these for my husband yesterday, uh, he popped these on top of some little uh, crunchy crostinis and he said it was the best appetizer I ever had. <laughs> so I'll show you what the uh, squash is looking like over here as it's. See how it's getting that nice. Can you see that there? You need to move the camera down low. There. Is that good? Yes. Okay. okay. See how that's getting that nice brown and then the, all the water and the squash is just evaporating right off. And it makes it, and it, it half cooks the zucchini and um, makes it really pliable so you can roll it and get that nice little form. Okay, so at this point, this will, um, I would just pop this um, in the oven once I fill the whole thing and pop it in the oven for about, like I said, all the ingredients are done. Really, the zucchini is, we already cooked it. Um, so now we just want to melt the cheese and kind of make, have the, uh, the cheese mixture on the, on the middle get warm and yummy.
And this is what it looks like when it comes out. Can you everybody see that? Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Let me see you take a bite, make sure it's edible. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Can you put uh, meat inside of the filling there? We had a question about that. Absolutely. Um, I was thinking about that actually last night that um, like a ground pork or uh, some kind of uh, steak also would be delicious. And in, in, if in the middle of these with the, with the, with the cheese mixture would be really yummy. Yvonne, can you tell everyone how uh, that little special trick about your sauce and the oil on the top? That was really interesting. Wow, sorry. That's my first time trying those. Those are really delicious. <laughs> um, yes, Barbara, this is, um, there's an oil. Can you see, everyone see that? There's an oil that sits at the top of the jar. The reason that's there is after you boil your pasta, so it doesn't stick. It cooks the whole time in the, in the gravy. That's the start of the gravy. Is, that's the first thing that goes in the bottom of the pot is the olive oil. And then everything builds from there, flavor, 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 and it cooks for hours. So you can imagine the flavor that's in that, that olive oil. You boil your pasta, you uh, drain it, and then you take the oil, once you've heated your sauce, you wanna scoop that off and put, toss it within your pasta. And it, one, makes your pasta not stick. And two, that flavor of the sauce is already penetrating the, the pasta and getting that really delicious flavor. And then you put your, your pasta on top of it. But it really, um, it really makes a, a, a world of difference. It's so yummy. Thank you for asking. You have a really amazing label. I really, I, I really enjoyed just kind of like, I like to look at labels because that's one of the things I enjoy. And I see your labels really great. Did you have anyone local do that or did you do it yourself? How did you come up with a design? I did. I, um, I hired, I actually went to school with the, the couple that uh, designed that label for me. It was uh, his wife and I, we designed it together. Yeah, they're no longer in business. That's the only reason why I'm not um, promoting them. <laughs> um, they, they've gotten out of that, that particular business, but they were tremendous help to me, tremendous um, in the very beginning when I was just getting started and really was pretty green about, um, about this. Um, I feel just a little bit more comfortable now that we've gotten kind of the cooking aspect. Oh, my squash, I'm burning my squash, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that the kind of stuff we like. <laughs> oh Lord, sorry, folks. Yvonne, you want to take a question? It's not too burnt. The chat in the chat box. Um, Actually, I would I would still absolutely use that. Can you everybody see that? Looks good. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That is perfect. <laughs> that's that's exactly what this looked like before, before we got it all yummy. So actually, I'm uh, going to use that right now and fill up, finish filling up my. How long do you cook the roll-ups? Uh, just long enough for the, uh, the cheese to melt inside and on top. So 350 for, I have it in the recipe, I think for maybe, maybe I didn't say that, uh, 350 for maybe 25, 30 minutes. Just kind of okay. keep an eye, you want it to be um, golden brown and kind of bubbly on top. And the, the yummy oil that's in the top, does that go into the pasta water as it's boiling? No, it's once you dump your pasta, after you after the pasta the pasta is completely cooked and you've dumped it, dump the water, and you put the uh, you put your pasta back in the same pasta pot. Okay. Then you take that oil off the sauce, off the top of the sauce, because generally you're gonna boil your pasta in one pot, have your sauce beside it. And you'll have that you'll just scoop it, you know, with a spoon right off the top. Awesome. We do have a question about how you got how you got started and what your backstory is. If you wanted to, yeah, yeah. Um, so we lived, like I said, we lived in Italy for seven years. My husband is retired Navy, and um, my 
so the first we were stationed there at two different times. Um, the first time was uh, for four years. My girls, I have two daughters that are uh, 31 and 34, and uh, they were just tykes. 10 months and three years, and I was 24, 24, and didn't speak the language at all. And uh, we just took a took a jump and went went over there. And we loved it. So we were there, supposed to be there for three. We loved it so much, we stayed an extra year. We were there for four years. Um, anyway, Nona was um, our neighbor, our next neighbor. Hey, 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 rocks. Sorry about that. Sorry, real life guys. Sorry. You need some food. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, smell it. That was my train of thought. Um, so Nona was our neighbor. So we were moving in and, you know, there's uh, our landlords were an older couple that lived below in the villa below and Nona lived in the back of this other four apartment villa. So there wasn't a lot of, of children and things around and my girls were, I told you the age is very young and moving trucks. And so she was curious and came out and was like what's going on and so our landlord introduced us to her and almost almost the rest is was history we just we bonded she would always come over and ask me if i'd want a coffee an italian coffee um i was never so caffeinated but i needed it because my girls were little <laughs> um and we just she just took me under her wing i was so young and i was you know the language my husband was working all the time um so it was, it was tough in the beginning and she just took me under her wing and taught me how to cook and taught me how to shop um, like I was her granddaughter. It was really, really amazing. And then we would, she taught me how to shop at the local markets um, seasonally. And then we would go back to her apartment and she would teach me and my girls would, would do little, little tiny jobs. Um, and we would all be in the kitchen together. Did you learn Italian when you were there? A little bit, a little bit. I wish I would have learned more. And if we were, could still be there now, I would definitely have taken classes. Yeah, but we did. And my girls, um, actually, um, my little ones actually were speaking um, Italian nursery rhymes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, my um, my oldest daughter, Ebony, she would come home from preschool and sing um, nursery rhymes to Nona in Italian, and she would just love that. So did you all cook together as a family? We did and ate as a family. Oh my gosh, for hours on end. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Does anybody else have questions? You can just use the chat box if you'd like. Up on the right hand corner. So Yvonne, your sauce is really delicious. And I have to tell you that uh, it, I really love the way it makes vegetarian things taste. So you can throw it over string beans and bake them or, you know, a can of um, white beans and bake them. It makes it just the flavor when it bakes is mm -hmm. even better than the flavor when you use it on top of pasta. It's incredible. So when it reduces down completely, you know, Yes, I yes. encourage people to try recipes with it. It's really amazing. Yeah, the more you cook it down, yes, the 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 stronger the, the flavor, the taste, the thicker it gets, the truer more form of the gravy that it becomes. Right. So tell us how you started in Charlottesville and, and what you know, um, how you you put it together, where'd you start selling? I know that you're at the market now, but tell us a little more about that. Right, I'm in Charlottesville uh, City Market. Now I'm, um, because of COVID and a new opportunity and now also now at Ix Park, um, Art Park Market, um, several local stores, um, Tillman's, Market Street Wine, um, Iron, Paffles and Coffee, The Pie Chest, I'm trying to think of the local ones downtown. Um, Further, a little bit further out in Crozet, we're in uh, Greenwood Gourmet Grocery, um, where I cook now in Batesville Market, um, which is amazing. That kitchen and that little store is amazing, and that's a godsend there. Um, 
So why my family, I've been making this particular sauce with meat actually, because that's what the original recipe was, was with meat, with pork, uh, two different forms. Um, lean, lean diced pork and then like an Italian sausage. Um, but in order for me to can it, to bottle it, I had to pull the meat out. So um, it was quite a process to be able to bring this, um, bring notice to fruition because I, it's vegan and I had to come up with that same, or not the same, but a similar umami when you pull away the meat. Um, so it was a lot of experimenting, which my husband didn't complain, <laughs> or, my, or my daughters, because um, I got lots and lots of sauce. Um, but they, I just started cooking it, Nona taught me, and I cooked it all the time we were in Italy, and it just was turned, because we were there for four years, like I said earlier, and we just, we loved it. And that would just turned into our Sunday, our Sunday meal. Every Sunday I just made sauce. Um, and it just became our family tradition, and I just made it for 30 or plus years. Came to Charlottesville, wanted to do, thought about it. My family kept encouraging me. Um, try it, what do you have to lose? Then um, a dear friend, I catered her wedding and there was people there that were from New Jersey and they were, they were Italian, but I, I believe that they they had ancestors that came over later, you know, further back in their ancestry. So they knew real sauce and uh, they didn't know who I was. And the gentleman, one guy said to his wife, wow, this tastes like my Nona's. This tastes just like my, my grandmother's. And I was like, wow, okay. And then I just started researching how to, how to go into business because I had the idea and I had the great recipe, but I didn't know how to do anything with it. Um, so I researched, 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 reached out to a lot of people because um, this is a great community for that and uh, ended up at CIC at their 16 week course. And uh, that, that's, that's what did it. That's what catapulted me the rest of the way and um, had a wonderful mentor in my um, teacher, Kristen, who is now the owner of Batesville Market. Um, we're working, she was my mentor and teacher and now we're working side by side at Batesville. It's really amazing. It's really, uh, I love it. That's the new owner. That's the new owner. Yes, yes. Someone yes. asked, where did you get your tomatoes? Um, these particular or how I make my sauce? Um, it says, where do you get your San Marzana potato tomatoes? Okay, um, I actually import them from Italy. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, they, um, they grow at the foot of Mount Vesuvius in the volcanic soil. And they just are, there's nothing like them. They're very sweet. And the cooking process that Nona taught me, which is low and slow with all the ingredients, as you layer the flavors, layer the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Do you have a commercial kitchen? I mean, do you have people working with you and? Oh no, it's just me. It's just you. Um, okay. um, it was, it was. I did work with, was working out of a commercial kitchen in Farmville, um, in Prince Edward Cannery um, with my husband and the kitchen manager there but um, the kitchen closed um, because of 2020 and COVID. <laughs> um, so uh, it took me probably three or four months to be able to pivot. And again, I have to throw my hat to Kristen because she offered her hand in, um, in her store because she had just taken over the store and that was her whole premise of that store is to help local producers like myself in any way that she could. and. I could use her kitchen. So yeah, it's, it's perfect. I'm able to produce. I'm not able to produce like I could at the cannery, um, but that's okay. I'm still able to produce and I'm producing four cases a week. Um, I'm still not cut up. I, I can't make it fast enough, <laughs> um, but that's a good thing. I'm very um, grateful for that. Do we have anyone that has made uh, a recipe this week with the sauce that wants to tell us their experience with it. Don't be shy. Come on. If I'm doing this, this is so hard for me. Oh my god. I'm, I'm doing it right now. Oh, that's right, Annette. I forgot about you. You are doing that. Bless your heart. 
I have spaghetti swap squash. Yes. That's my daughter's favorite. Yes, yeah, in the <laughs> pressure cooker, and then um, Zatarans. Zatarans. Um, links. Let me see what. Oh, and new stuck sausage. So here we have. Can you see it, Yvonne? I can. Oh, I smell it. It smells amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. So I have your um, amazing, delicious sauce. I love that uh, story about that you actually import your tomatoes. That's incredible. And so it is absolutely delicious. Thank you. Mwah. Hey, Mom, can you hear me? <laughs> hey, Ev. Hey, Talia. Hi. Hey, Mom. Um, We're proud of you. <laughs> yes, we just wanted to come on and say how proud of you we are. And um, like everybody here, we grew up with Nona's and we can't get enough. My sons, that's all the sauce that they want is Nona's. Um, but we kept pushing my mom because we knew she had a great product. She just had to be confident in herself. And I'm so proud that she's up here in front of like 45 people doing this. And um, we are very, very proud of you. Yes, we are proud of you. We know you're nervous, but we're all here to support you. And we eat a lot of it, more than you know. Every time we go home, we raid the fridge and we take bottles for ourselves. And so we're proud of you, and uh, it's a great product, especially when we were in college, my sister and I, that's all we lived off of. We didn't want, you know, dorm food or go to the dorms and eat that stuff loaded with sodium. We always wanted mom's home cooking, so mom would send us care packages full of that, and we can't get enough of it. I'm still, I'm out, I have some in the kitchen now that I'm going to make after this is over, so we still get it now that we're 30 plus years old, so um, it's a great product, and we love you. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay. Other <My> dogs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> dogs, we said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> we had a question, um, Yvonne, about any advice you would give someone who is interested in starting to bottle a product. <sighs> Don't give up. If you truly believe in your product, don't give up. Don't give up. It's hard. It is hard. It's a lot of work. Um, I didn't, after I graduated from CIC, I didn't have a lot of guidance thereafter um, because this was a, a very, it was a different product. It was a unique product. Um, and I had to go through different, some different educations and some different schooling on top of that that I completed through the University of Tennessee. So there was a lot of other things involved um, that I just had to learn along the way. So yeah, don't give up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. It's good for anything, really. For real. Let's see. Someone's asking what CIC is. Oh, it's Community Investment Collaborative. Um, if we could, if they want to give possibly that your email information, I could, um, you know, connect the two. Um, Hi, Yvonne. This is Bernadette. Hey, Bern. Yeah. I'm the one who asked that question. Ah, hey, girl. Hey. That's where I took my 16 week course. Okay. Yeah, it's they, what they do is they help they help uh, people in the community that have ideas, but don't know how to put everything together. I know I'm not giving a great a great description of it, but they help you put. Yvonne, I, can tell them, Yvonne I can tell them what CIC is because I'm involved with it uh, quite a bit. Um, can you? If I don't know if you guys can hear me, um, CIC is a collaborative of investors in Charlottesville. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Barbara. Put together um, a mentors for people who have entrepreneurial ideas, and they put them through a program and they help them start their businesses. And it's 
it's uh, they raise money through different people who invest in in the future of these small entrepreneurs. It's a really great program. It's housed right. downtown. It has it's really uh, pro farming, pro restaurant, pro you know entrepreneurs that are in that industry quite a bit. It's an amazing program. Thank amazing. you. Amazing. Yeah, I wouldn't. I couldn't have gotten started without without the program for sure. Is this a good time for you to start making the sauce? Someone was asking. Is that part of what you're doing tonight? No, I'm I'm done with doing with what oh. I did. Yep. Have you ever thought about starting a restaurant? Uh, <laughs> my daughters <laughs> think I should. That's what I should do. Um, it's so much work, and I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel like I'm, I feel old um, that I even am doing this, doing what I'm doing now, especially now that I'm doing it um, alone. Um, yeah, okay. I would love to if I had if I had the backing and if I had, um, you know, the partnership, I would love to. You could totally do it, mom. <laughs> That's my question, by the way, because I know you totally can. <laughs> Um, what wine do you recommend pairing with your pasta sauce? Depends if you are adding meat or not. In my opinion, I say if you are keeping it vegetarian, I say with a white or a rosé. If you're pairing meat with it, I say um, a, a red. And then, and then from there, whatever your preference and taste would be, because there's so many different reds. <laughs> And there's a lot of different meats also that you compare with the sauce. Like I said, there's um, pork, which is what Nona taught me. And then actually my landlord taught me, um, Yolanda. Um, she was actually the, the landlord of our villa. She taught me how to make um, brajol, which is with uh, beef, with steak. Very thin, pounded out steak. Um, and it cooks within the gravy as well, within the sauce, just like the pork does. And it gets super, super tender, and it just it just falls apart. It's amazing. It's one of my it's my youngest daughter's favorite. So for the non-advanced cooks like us, do you have any other recommendations for really good vegetable recipes that are like this or simple, easy to make, like the zucchini one? Like any other vegetables that are good with nonas? Oh, just about anything, Jillian. Um, like I heard what Barbara said a little bit earlier, like roasting green beans with this and letting the sauce um, cook down. With it, because that's that's a, a good Italian vegetable. The uh, like the French style green beans, the really thin ones. Um, zucchini is one of the like very favorite vegetables this time of the year in in Italy, especially in Naples. We had so much zucchini; it was coming out of our ears all the time. Um, I ended up growing it one year, and we had so much zucchini. That's why I learned how to make these. And um, that's actually we started eating zoodles back then in the early '90s. Um, because we just had so much zucchini, we didn't know what to do with it. We didn't want to waste the food. Um, but Italians eat zucchini and everything. Zucchini is really good also for minestrone, and this is a good base uh, for minestrone. Thank you. You're welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Jill, you Jillian, I want to say something too that you can also do, because I'm a big vegetable person too. So you can do like eggplant parmesan, you can do if you like eggplant you could do eggplant yeah. um spaghetti squash is one of my absolute favorites too yes. and i actually yes. bought one of those um what do you call them it's not a mandolin mom sorry i'm not the cook in the family so i don't know <laughs> things called. the spiralizers yes um so i absolutely love the spiralizers so i'll buy like any kind of vegetable and just turn it into a noodle and i'll just slap my mom's sauce on it and it makes anything taste good. So obviously I'm biased because I just love it so much, but my all time favorite veggies has to be spaghetti squash um, and, and the eggplant and the zucchini for sure. Sounds good, I'll have to try that. I have never tried spaghetti squash yet. Oh, it's, it's so good. It's called a spiralizer. Yeah, water. so the spaghetti squash is actually um, already like spaghetti. It, it sounds <laughs> weird, so you just cut it in half and you can season it with salt and pepper, um, a little bit of olive oil, and it just bakes face mm -hmm. down on 400 for like 20 minutes until you start to smell it. Mm -hmm. And then you literally take it out 
on the stove and you just carve it out and it's like spaghetti. It's like spaghetti. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's so good. Try that. That's it. I just had to jump in and say that. So I would highly recommend it. Thank you, Ebony. And uh, Jillian, I think if you were, um, I don't know if you were um, logged in earlier, but Annette, I think is doing a recipe um, with yeah. while, we're, while we're talking um, with spaghetti squash and my sauce and uh, a sausage. Annette, are you there? Yes, doll, and it is so <laughs> delicious. There you go. <laughs> I have. Oh, I look at what she's eating right out of the squash. That is amazing. <laughs> oh. I don't like dishes. <laughs> not like my husband. <laughs> I did my spaghetti squash in the pressure cooker, so I didn't even have to turn on the oven. How did and, you do it in the pressure cooker, Annette? Um, I you put a cup of water in your pressure cooker. And then I set it for 10 minutes and it wasn't enough. So I did it for another eight minutes. Okay. And then I did your sauce on the stove with the Zeta Rands. Right, with the so sausage. Oh, oh it is <laughs> so <Mia>. good. <laughs> it is so good. And just- Look at that, see Jillian, see that's just, 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 like, just like spaghetti. It's yeah. amazing. Yes, it is amazing. Thank you. I love your sauce. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you for your support, all of you. There you go, Jillian. I hope that helped. Yes, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yvonne, do you think you can take the food you made and put it closer to the camera so people can see a close up of the food? Absolutely. So, mm. Yeah, there you go. So it looks, you see the spirals and uh, and how it gets crusty when you bake it. That's really great. Yeah, hold on, let me, that's better. And people can go and order their sauce on your website, right? Or on uh, yeah. you on Facebook and stuff? Yes. Good. How's that, Barbara? That looks great. It looks wonderful. Nice and, uh, and dry because it doesn't have all that water, that zucchini. Exactly. I know it's a little bit of a pain in the in the tail um, to do that extra step to um, to do that um, that extra uh, you know pre almost pre cooking of the uh, the pre cooking of the uh, the zucchini before you roll it up and bake it, but you get a dry perfect perfect zucchini because all that water evaporates away. And if you were just to, I mean, honestly, just here we go. I have a slice here that's raw, and you honestly, it's not nearly as pliable as this guy here where I can actually take it all the way up if I wanted to. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show y'all. You see the difference? Can you see that there? Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it, it behooves to, to pre-cook. I'm, Any questions? I'm just hey, saying. Lady. Oh my gosh, how are you? <laughs> um, I actually used to live in Italy with Miss Yvonne and her daughters. Me and her daughter, her oldest daughter, Ebony, were in high school together. Um, and I'm super excited for you to have this really awesome brand. I think it's kind of crazy that I'm like, I never even knew you did this and then it became a brand, but I guess it's like your normal house dinner. So I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> I'm super excited to see like all the things that you've like come up with in the last few years doing this. And I'm super pumped because I'm about to order some sauce at the end of this. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, it's good seeing you too. Thank you for your support, honey. Hey mom, one thing you um, you could mention, I know a lot of people with kids and even we did it last time we came home is how your sauce can be a base for pizza. Yes. Um, we've made it on the grill and a lot of people have kids and we, we made the dough and rolled it out and it's a good base sauce for pizza. You put all your, your fixings on top and you put it in the oven or on the grill. So it's I forgot we did this on the grill. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is a good a good base for pizza. Hey, Miss Yvonne, it's Gerona. Hey, Gerona. Hey, I have a question. Um, do you have any 
local um, stores close to Richmond where we could purchase the sauce? Actually, there I am in two stores in Richmond, um, Ashlyn Meat Company and Cross Brothers in Ashland, mm -hmm. and then, um, which is about, I think about 20 miles, um, is it east? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ashland's Richmond. about 20 minutes away from okay. Richmond. And then um, um, the market at 25th and Church and Church Church Hill. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Definitely get some sauce. It's been a little over a year now in that Perfect. area. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. Good to see you. Good seeing you too. And people um, can also buy on your on your website. Is that right? I'm sorry. And people can also buy sauce on your yeah. website. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. All right. I just I just reloaded back um, on my website last week, so I'm slowly slowly getting my um, my inventory back up. Yvonne, my husband is chowing down. <laughs> it's hard to get him to eat vegetables, and he's like shoving it in faster than. I, mean, <laughs> I wish that my my uh, spaghetti squash was bigger, but the grocery store only had a little one, so. We got, we have good leftovers. He loves it also. It's a great That's job. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your support, Annette. You've been awesome this evening. I just wanted to tell everyone that if you wanted to submit a recipe because you tried uh, making something with the sauce, you're welcome to do so. I think the email was posted, right, Pam? Sorry about that. Yes, I, I posted a couple of times. It's known as italiancucina at gmail.com. Correct. It's in the chat box a couple times. Excellent. And, you know, Yvonne, thank you. You did really wonderful. And I, I know you're, you, you were nervous, but your food is amazing. Your sauce is amazing. And uh, Annette, who's going to be our next month's uh, presenter for uh, cooking, um, was very helpful, and I appreciate it. Um, and yes. I, I'm hoping that everyone I'm sure grab up there. If it wasn't for her engaging with me the way she did, bless her heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Annette's a pro, a long time, right? We've been through a lot of uh, mishaps on uh, Taco Tuesdays, so it's no problem. But well, uh, I, did. I burned my zucchini, or almost <laughs> did, so I, I completely get it, and I appreciate it. It wouldn't be fun if you didn't burn some zucchini, come on. Um, <laughs> so yeah. hopefully people will submit some recipes, and Yvonne can yeah, make them and notes and, and everything, and... Um, get a couple of jars of sauce and make you make something new try it on anything you know crack a a, a can of the um beans uh white beans like they do in italy and just toss it in the oven it's the easiest thing it sounds amazing <laughs> i want to thank you all very much um the uva club and um everything for your support this evening and for um inviting me into your community and um it really means a lot and i'm very grateful Thank you, everyone. Does anyone have any last questions before we sign off? Thank you to all my friends and family out there too who've, who've joined in and to all my fans and to all my customers. I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for you all. So thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you.